Imagine having all your favorite entertainment options right on your dashboard. You get that in the Tuscany along with the Rand McNally Navigation Suite. So let's spend the next few minutes together walking through each function step by step. You'll find a set of controls on the left side. Menu brings up the home screen on the touchpad. Tapping Nav System brings up the Rand McNally Navigation Suite. Camera punches up your vehicle camera, and the favorite key brings up your stored favorite audio source. The knob is for your power, volume, and mute. Before diving into all the features, you may want to get the system set up to your liking, so tap the setup icon. The next two screens allow you to change the look and feel of your system. The dim icon is how you set the brightness of the display. Aux zone allows you to select a source, such as your HDMI input, to a display connected to the AV output. That beep you hear when you touch the screen, this is how you turn it on or off. Rear view is simply your backup camera. With standby screen on, the date, time, and temp will be displayed even when the system is powered off. Simply tap here to go to the next page. This menu allows you to set your language, choose an auto dimming display, turn on the compass, set the time of day, store your favorites to the favorite button over here. And if you wanna blow it out and start over, Press this button to do a factory reset. Video changes the brightness, contrast, tint, and sharpness. Audio brings up your equalizer, fader, and balance so you can create the sound you like. To hear that sound, go to the home screen and hit radio. While we're here, let's take a look at the radio screen. In the center, your current situation. Below, your tuning options. Manual tune here or seek to find the next station. Band allows you to choose between three FM stations and two AM stations with six presets. AF is for alternative frequencies. Tapping it will look for other frequencies to find the strongest reception for the station you are currently listening to. PTY allows to search for a specific format, such as rock, weather, or news. With the LODX button, LO picks up the strongest stations. DX picks up frequencies farther away, but you may get a little background noise. On the other side, tapping TA will interrupt what you are listening to if there is a traffic announcement from a radio station that supports this feature. REG stands for regional and works in conjunction with the AF button from the other side to pull in the strongest reception. AS will auto store stations in the memory. And PS is program scan. It goes through all the stations you have stored in the memory. This bottom row is your presets. This is a cool little feature. Insert a thumb drive into the slot, tap the media center icon, and you now have the ability to play movies or music off a USB drive. The video will automatically adjust to full screen. The Bluetooth icon allows you to pair up your phone for hands-free calling. By connecting an HDMI cable to your smartphone or tablet, you can display movies or photos on the larger touchscreen. Camera displays your backup camera. The iPod icon allows you to connect an iPod or iPhone to the system to play music stored in the library on that device. To use the navigation system, tap the Rand McNally icon. When it loads up, accept the license agreement to continue. The tutorial is a quick rundown on how everything works in case you forget anything in this video. Tapping Preferences brings up this screen where you can change the way your system looks and you can set the time. To connect to Wi-Fi, tap the Wi-Fi icon and your system will look for hotspots and local signals for you to connect to. On your main map screen, pressing here brings up a number of options. RV Tools allows you to set your preferences from the way the screen looks and your time zone. Tapping here allows you to create a maintenance checklist for items and reminders you may want to check out and take care of before you hit the road. Road Atlas information brings up stats and interesting info and trivia from each of the 50 states along with Canada and Mexico. Quick Planner allows you to set an itinerary, set your start and end point, and you'll see distance, drive time, and you can factor in items such as gas. Warnings allows you to set specific distances for upcoming road conditions such as construction and toll booths. During your trip, if you notice something on the screen is incorrect, such as the speed limit, tapping the Tell Rand icon allows you to report and change the error. Tapping the Go to Map button takes you straight to your map and your current location. When you touch the icon with the knife and fork and gas pump, this brings up exit information and what you will find when you exit. The three lines slide out step-by-step -step directions to your destination. Zoom in and zoom out by pressing the plus and minus buttons. 
This button allows you to change display modes. This displays your current speed and by tapping on it, you can pull up your virtual dashboard. The speed limit sign is the speed of the road you are actually on. If you'd like to find an interesting place to stop along the way, tap Choose Destination, then Points of Interest. Some of the options are RV campgrounds, RV services, rest areas, travel centers. There are Ram McNally's editor picks and other categories such as dog parks. When you've chosen a point of interest, go back to the map and you can insert it as a waypoint. Permanent Avoid allows you to draw a box around places you'd rather not go. Tapping Set Origin uses your current location as a starting point. To set the location of wherever you want to go, tap the Choose Destination button. Tapping New Location is where you type in the address of where you'd like to go. History pulls up places you've recently stopped at. Address Book pulls up your stored and saved locations. Multi-Stop Trip allows you to stop at a number of locations along the way. Not sure what to do? Points of Interest can give you some great ideas. If you know the name of a place, but not the specific address, local search is how you find it. And Rand McNally Trips pulls up a number of places to see, not only from the city you are in or are going to, but from around the country. Now that you know how this all works, go, set your destination, and have fun. For more owner's resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.